We see all the flashy dimes, but deeper in every good guard's game is the ability to make basic passes unbelievably well. I'm going to go over the top 5 passes in my opinion that you need to be comfortable with as a guard. Let's check them out under the microscope. So first is a post entry pass. It seems basic, but ask your bigs how much easier it makes their job if you give them a timely pass right to their hand as they post up. So being able to do so is a skill that every single guard has to have. Don't overcomplicate these. Many times you'll actually see a simple chest pass into the post, especially if there isn't much on ball pressure. And those are generally the most accurate because we're used to chest passes, right? But most times when we pick up the ball, we're gonna get some pressure on ball, which is why that overhead pass can be extremely useful to deliver the rock from a higher position and over the defense. But if you're a smaller guard and it's tough for you to get these over that initial defender, that lower pass may be the way to go which is generally the way most coaches will teach young guys. Regardless of how the pass looks, don't be afraid to be patient on these. You see these rushed pretty often and it is good to make that pass while that big man has that window of space. But watch how Jaw here is making this pass after a few seconds of ensuring that it's gonna be open. Plus, you gotta be ready for an adjustment. If their defender fronts your big man, that lob over them will generally be open. And if there's no help on the backside, that's a pass that you really wanna make, but also take some skill. Next is a quick dump off in the paint. So first understand that before this ever becomes open, you've got to get deep into the defense. Once you get closer to the middle of that paint, defenders collapse and that's where that dump off is going to be open. The key here is to keep it as simple as possible. But with that being said, it normally can't be a chest pass. So this could either be a bounce pass, a little wrap around pass, a side pass from the hip, coming to a jump stop, or it could be an oop, but if we're being real, most guys don't have bigs talented enough for this. Also, don't make it too late. If that defender steps over early, make that pass as soon as that window opens like Jaw here, who doesn't even get to the paint before dropping it off. Next is a quick outlet pass up court. So this is one I wouldn't say is absolutely necessary, but it's one that most of the elite guards are constantly looking for. Hitting these passes up court when the defense isn't even set and maybe not even looking is one of the easiest ways to get a bucket that I can think of. But to make this happen, you've got to be two steps ahead. And what I mean by that is watch how these guys, before they even get the ball in their hand, they're looking up court. So when it hits their hand, they already have an idea of what they'll do. Plus, it's just about being willing to do it. A lot of players catch the ball on the inbounds or off a rebound and just slowly prance up the court. Now watch how Alonzo jets up the court and makes that pass as soon as he sees it. No time wasted. And if you're complaining about no teammates being up court, if you never make this pass, you don't give your teammates a reason to run up court. So talk to them, tell them to make that bolt up court, and then hit them in stride. I'd like to see a much more aggressive creating options, limited big guys. The next pass is a pick and roll pass, but maybe not the one you'd expect. Most players can actually make that pocket pass pretty easily, but when the defense rotates to take that away, it's going to leave some weak side teammates open. This is the pass you've got to be able to make. The crisper this pass, the better, so that that defender has less time to close out when the ball is in the air. And this doesn't have to be anything crazy. Many times you'll see that kind of swing pass, but sometimes coming to a stop, pivoting and making a chest pass will work as well. Lastly is the one more pass. This one's the most basic, so I'll keep it short, but it's vital to see whenever it's open. Once you get the defense rotating as a team, defenders are gonna have to leave their man open to close out on you, in which case that quick swing pass is generally wide open. So be conscious of it, look for it, and get a ton of assists with it. So this is something you guys should be working on in your training as well. Yes, these are gonna change based on your playing style and the team system, but find the passes that are most important for you and implement them into your workouts. Thank you guys for tuning in as always. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at ByAnyMeansBasketball for way more. Stay tuned.